Genovian law states that a princess must marry before she can take the throne. Shut up! I was determined not to do sequels that went straight to video, so I didn't want to do a sequel. But this one, they said, honestly, they would uh, try. They'd give us a reasonable budget, and they would bring back the stars. And uh, we'd have a shot at it. And... Uh, so we really tried to make it better than the first one. I think we succeeded in many ways. I was with a little six-year-old the other day, and her mother said to the, to the child, do you know who this lady is? And uh, the child looked at me, and she said, Mary Poppins? And the child said, yes. And then she said, and Sound of Music? And she said, yeah. <laughs> and she finally said, and, and Princess Diaries? And she went, oh, cool. <laughs> So, uh, what can I tell you? I have a whole new audience. I remember Julian, uh, not Sound of Music and Mary Poppins, of course, but I remember seeing her in My Fair Lady on Broadway, and she was just sensational. And uh, so they said, Blake Edwards, her husband, said she sings a little bit at home. So I said, come on, try it. And she refused in Princess Diaries 1, but now we were few years later, and I said, what about that singing part? I saw you sing at a charity bash I was at with her. She said, well, we'll try it, but promise me, if it's no good, you'll cut it out. So I said, you got it, and she did it very bravely. And uh, we left it in, and it was quite charming. Yes! Oh, yes, I absolutely accept. Prince William, he's not eligible because he's in line for his own crown. Oh! If he's not eligible, why is he included in these pictures? I just love to look at him. Oh, now. me too. After the first Princess Diaries... So many people came up to me and up to Gary Marshall, our director, and said, were you and Hector an item? I mean, was it? What, did, did we misunderstand something? And uh, we were so thrilled because we really did just hint at it in a rather subtle way in the first movie. And everybody seemed to want that relationship to continue. So um, Gary obviously fleshed it out a little bit. And, uh, and Hector and the Queen have quite a nice relationship, thank you, in the second one. I think it's time we bring our friendship out of the shadows. Oh, Joseph. I... Yes, yes, my dear. I would kneel if it weren't for my knee replacement. Some of the other things that delight me about the movie are, you know, um, the idiocy of Queen Clarice saying, you know, goodbye trolley people and uh, <laughs> goodbye culinary people and uh, sort of totally out to lunch about parts of the world and yet so down to earth in other ways. I, I think she's a great character. I love her. Reviews are always important, but I said once I'd rather have three six-year-old girls laugh heartily than Roger Ebert write a nice review, but I lied. <laughs> I would... <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> I just said that because there was an interview. Princess Diaries 2, Royal Engagement.